Hey, I am Penny Nelson, Providence Soapery 62959. It is Thursday and we're making some soap, making some soap. Let me show you what we got going on over here because I've got the Christmas snow soap cooking and it is 60 minutes into the cook and it is time to stir the soap. So I'm going to bring you along. Okay, so let me show you what we got going on here. Two batches. The big one on the left is a full-size batch of Christmas snow soap. So comment below if you need some because I've already sold 12 bars of this to my friend Edna, who's in Texas. So what I'm also going to be showing you, what I have over here, that is what I call a class size batch. And I'm going to show you how to do all that. And that is going to be pumpkin soap for my sister-in-law, Donna, who asked for it. Probably. It's either going to be samples. I don't know. If you want to order some, I'll show you all that. Let me know because we do have a mission trip planned. Should the Lord Terry and the Creek don't rise, should we get tomorrow to Haiti in July of 2020? Now it is October. It's a Thursday in October and it is 60 degrees in Southern Illinois. I live in Marion, Illinois, 62959. Now this is a goat milk soap. This is how I do goat milk. And it is a little bit of a water discount. Coconut oil, manteca, and soybean oil. Maybe not in that order. And I cook my soap for two hours with, um, no super fats in it. And then I add the super fats after it's all completely been saponified. So that's a lot of soap making talk. I hear Morris out the window. Would you like to see my kitty? There he is. You got anything to say, Morris? Need a snack? You do have something to say. All right, let me see Lucky. Hi, Lucky. You say hi. <laughs> Stalling. Out there, I did want to show you. Can't really tell from here. No, it's a terrible view. This is what I see out my window. This is my flowers. Anyways, I'm glad you're here. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you how to do soap. So welcome welcome i'm glad you're here got some other videos you can check out but if you're interested in soap making this is the one so learn how to make hot process soap i think i said that well this is the part where i say hello and if you would like a free recipe whoo, i'm stepping on my dustpan <laughs> if you would like a free recipe i would be glad to share that with you what you need to do is email me at penny, P-E-N-N-I-E, -N -N -E, underscore Nelson, N-E-L-S-O-N, -E very easy, at yahoo.com, and I'll be glad to send you the recipe. If you'd like my perfected recipe, I would share. I learned how to do hot process soap by watching YouTube videos, which is why I share. So you're more than welcome to get a hold of me that way, and I'll get you the recipe, okay? Okay, we are 90 minutes into the cook and I'm going to stir it, but there's two things that I want to go over with you. Okay, the first thing is this small, what it, what's in front of you is the Christmas snow and we're going to be making pumpkin. Ways that you can help if you would like to learn how to make soap or maybe you just want to make some soap in your own space. So this is the ways you could help. You can buy six bars of soap and how you would tell what kind of soap that I have 
is you would check out a video on my page, Providence Soapery 62959, and it's called Soapbox Tour. And that goes over all the kinds of bars I have. So six bars of soap shipped is $33, and that would help equipping Haiti. And I have to look. That's the name of our group. It's either .net or .org. I should know better, shouldn't I? to help us to get to Haiti in July, 2020. The other thing that you can do is you could have a soap class in your own space. And that's what I'm gonna be showing you is the soap class size. And that would be $33 through December of 2019. So if you are interested in soap making, but you don't wanna do it, I have a, tra a traveling soap school. And I will just bring it to your space. And it would cost you $33 and you get $33 worth of soap and me. So we're 90 minutes into the cook and I love stirring it. I love stirring it. This amount makes about eight and a half pounds of soap completed. So the reason why I have a soap class size is because if anyone wanted to make hot process soap in their own space with their own stuff, it would be easier to follow. Hopefully I'll get it all in this video without it getting cut off. And I'll show you that when I get back. It is a school day and my son Josiah is a sophomore, but he is driving, he is 16. But of course today he went to turn on the truck and it wouldn't start. So he needed a ride. So I'll be picking him up after school. So this is gonna cook another 30 minutes. That's what I'll show you this. Do you see how I clean this off? I just use a napkin and throw it away because that's still chemical hot. Hey, this is a good place for me to tell you that you are responsible for yourself, that all of this is in my opinion and you need to do your own research. So add my opinion to your extensive research since you are responsible for, your, for yourself and I am not. So that's like my disclaimer. Anyways, that is chemical hot still. You need to be careful with soap, with um, chemical hot. It's also actually physically hot as well, in case you didn't know that crock pots got hot. Let's check it out, shall we? Let's see what it's cooking at. This is my thermometer. So the soap is cooking at about 170-ish. On the top anyways. This is, and I also put, that's what, see I put a label on here so I know it started cooking at one o'clock. So that means we're gonna be done around three o'clock. But And then I'll start my other class size batch for you. Got everything lined up for you. Okay, so the soap has cooked for two hours. And now I'm going to add, so all of the soap in the crock has been saponified. So I'm going to add my additional or the super fats, which is coconut oil, sweet almond oil and glycerin. And then I'm gonna stir it in and let it cook for another 30 minutes. And I did tell you I have a little bit of a water discount because this is, I, I'm doing goat's milk soap. So I don't, that's just the coconut oil that got a little bit hard because it's 76 degree coconut oil, but it's gonna melt right away. So how I do is dry powdered goat milk, and I'll explain that to you when I can think, because right now all I can think about is I need to hurry up and get to the school and pick up Josiah and not be late. So I'm sure you can, figure, so you stir in the, it's not essential oil, it's super fats, and let it cook for another 30 minutes. So after this, we're gonna get into the, the class size soap. So thanks for hanging out with me today. I sure appreciate your time. I sure appreciate your time. I really enjoy soap making. When I started making soap in 2015, I had a, well, that sugar idol was hidden in the closet. And since December, 
2018, God has set me free from sugar. I have not had any sugar, well, not any, but no sugar retreats. And God has set me free from the desire of eating cupcakes and stuff. So when I started making it, I would always say, I never have a desire to eat a whole batch of soap. And now I don't have a desire. Thank you, Lord, because of his grace. Set me free from weed, smoking pot in 2000. No, it was 1988, 87, 88, a long time ago. 88, I think, 1988. And he set me free from sugar in 2018. All right. We'll be back. And boom, it's 30 minutes later. Let's check it out. So now we turn off the heat. Turn on, and I take off my sunglasses because I just blasted in the house. Okay, and before you add fragrance oil, which this is smells like Christmas. That's why it's so cleverly named Christmas Snow Soap. I'm just really clever like that. Okay, what I do is I take it out of the crock. How's it cool? So I'm doing that on the ground. I wonder if you can see me. I don't know. I had to change clothes because I got, I didn't put on my apron. And so I got oil on my shirt. Okay, so I'm going to stir it. Woo! Warms up when you're hurting. So did I actually finish saying what you, you let the soap cool down to 160 degrees. So that usually takes about an hour, maybe. It just depends, but you can't rush it. It doesn't rush. Okay. And you always want to, yeah, I put my sweater on and it's hot. Got my fall sweater. You always want it to be down in the crock. We even had a chance to go by McDonald's and get some food. That's where I work at McDonald's in Marion, Illinois. I work at the Interstate McDonald's, but I went to Court Street where I worked for ever. I started working at McDonald's in 2002 before I had Josiah. So we're gonna let this cool and how you do that is, I'm gonna leave the crock ajar and we'll get started on the the pumpkin soap. Okay, so we're getting started with our soap class size. So I have my small crock over here and inside of there is steric acid. I have that ready. Inside of my fancy container here, I have coconut oil, soybean oil, and lard. Now, I what I do is I start with making my lye water, which you used distilled water and your lye. So the thing that you have to have to do soap is a digital scale. This is my example, and I keep mine in a plastic bag. You have to have a digital scale. You have to have a thermometer. This kind is better. You can get it from Sam's or wherever, so you can temp it for hot process lye soap making. And you have to have a crock pot. So I got this size crock pot, two quart from Walmart. It was like 10, 10 bucks. And the other thing you need is an immersion stick blender, which has that. So it's a stick blender and I have two of them because, and I keep them in here, because one time I was making soap and it broke. So I have an extra one on hand that's inconvenient when one of them breaks and you're making soap. Okay, I'm heating up my oils for 30 seconds, but I run my recipes through Soap Cal. That's how I do it. So like I said, you can email me and I will, I will help you out or you could do your own. I assure you though, if I can do mine, you can do yours as well. So, so we've got our, steric acid and I what I do my first step is I make my lye water for hot process soap fortunately hot process soap making is pretty forgiving I've never had any troubles 
So um, I just do my lye water first outside. Use proper safety precautions for um, handling lye, which I'm not teaching you. I'm expecting you to take care of it. And then it starts cooling because when you put the sodium hydroxide in the distilled water, it gets really, really hot. So by, you want it to, and mix it, make sure you mix it really good. So by the time you get all your oils ready and everything and get it in your crock pot and I heat them up, I mean, I don't super heat them up. I just do enough to get them not hard because coconut oil and lard is not liquidy. You have to heat them up. So let me go get the lye. While I'm over here, let me tell you about my super fats for this smaller batch. In this bowl, I have half a tablespoon of coconut oil, half a tablespoon of extra pure, extra virgin, organic, the best kind of olive oil. You're also gonna add one teaspoon of vegetable glycerin and one teaspoon of honey, and that's your super fats. And it's the same thing. You cook the soap for two hours, and then you put in the super fats and let it cook a little more. And then you have to let it cool down to 160 before you add your fragrance. And with my class batch size, it will be pumpkin. So put on my safety gear. And here I have the lye water. You see how it's clear? And the items that you use for lye, you do not use for regular food. You only use them for soap making. That's my opinion. Okay, so you've got your lye water still chemical hot it's clear and it's there's no chunks of lye at the bottom because I've had that problem before <clears throat> actually I like to give a give it um one little I think it's all right we'll just skip it I'm not a, a do it pour it on etc cetera, etc cetera. I'm of the the dump it in camp All right, so now I'll get my stick blender ready here. Okay, then what you're gonna do is you mix these two together. And that's a little loud. Okay, and you mix it together till it's like, well, it's going pretty fast today, so, oh yeah. this for two hours. So we'll just like we started at the beginning of the video. So I'll hopefully this will allow me to pause and bring you back. Between the two you should be able to tell. Now I started making soap in 2015 when God called Josiah and I to Haiti. It occurs to me that everything, you're either investing time or money. So in Haiti, they have no money and lots of time. Have very limited resources too. But I have a lot of times because I'm an American, limited time and money, which I don't really have much of it that's a, a relative thing. I am definitely, I'm middle class, so. But average wage in Haiti is $2 a day. That's, I'd have to look at the actual statistics, but it's around 50 or 60% of the population makes $2 a day. Actually, a lot of them make a lot less. So when I considered it originally, the fact that I work at McDonald's, like I said this for an hour. Uh-oh, I hear a mouse. You ever heard that saying, I smell a rat? It is fall, so the mice are coming in and they are not allowed to eat my stuff. They will have to die. So I'm gonna put um, the time on here. 
Anyways, everybody needs soap. And when God called us to Haiti, we don't have an endless supply of money. And it was a big faith. It was a big step of faith to do it. So I sell soap so that God could use that to bless us so we would have the income to go to Haiti. And that's what we're doing again. So that's everybody needs soap. And I learned how to do soap by watching Kimberly McNutt. And I would just watch her. I call them amateur videos. She still does them, but she doesn't just do soap making. She does other stuff as well. So that's why I bring you along so you can learn from me. And the method that I do to is the on off method. So I'll talk for a while and then put it on pause. That's as much editing as I do. So if y'all pray for me, you could pray that I would learn how to edit a little better. And if you're interested, I was um, involved in, this is a terribly boring thing to look at. I was invited to be a part of a collaboration with about 60, 65 other soap makers for fall. And that's, if you go to my YouTube page and then go to my videos, or if you do a search, because check it out. So that's probably my best soap training video, but my worst quality, because I had to put some videos together in an amateur way. So if you're really interested in hot process soap making, that includes everything. But it's, it was the best I had that day. So we're going to let this soap cook on low for two hours. Okay, so I have mouse traps on every single one of these shelves. Do you see what's happening there? So I I have a, a mouse. So die or leave, leave or die. And on every single shelf, I have mouse traps. <laughs> and there's a random mouse eating ramen noodles. That is no good. Okay, let me show you also what else we got here. Do you see Morris outside? We have an intruder. There's a dragon in the kitchen. Can you go get him? What about you? Can you get that mouse? Get him, Morris. Every year we have mice. I brought in my plant. Maybe it'll live till next year. See that? Yeah, so it's a war. This is my pantry and that's my favorite part. I started collecting different kinds of dried beans when I went to Haiti and my plan was to eat them all. And in America, we're never hungry enough to eat all our beans. Anyways, that's my, that's my pantry. Back to soap making. Yeah, goofy me, I gotta hurry up and get the, this is a mold that my husband made. That holds 88 ounces of oil. I have two molds, so they're the same. Not really. Anyways, I've got to get this mold lined and I use this wrap for before our next step because you cannot put the soap into the mold without the proper procedure here. All right, so I'm going to bring you along for this part. I've moved you over. Do you see my flowering kale? I'm going to put it outside. Okay. Oh, but I have to wash my spoons. I'm not ready. Let's see what we got. Now, I was taught you've got to confuse it. You can't use the other one. But this is a water discount. It's going to be well below 160. So what I've done is I have discounted my water and I put dry powdered goat's milk in here. So if and when you ask me for the recipe, um, and I put that in when it cools. So it's been setting when I, when I started, I kind of soaked it, okay? You on pause. Note to self, it's there we go. So I'm gonna stir in the goat's milk when it's cooled. 
And I'm also going to add in my fragrance oil. And usually that's what, because of this go get Josiah from school thing, that kind of interrupted my process, but it's going to be okay. I think I will mix them in together. I think I'm okay. Okay, so for this size batch, I am adding three tablespoons of my, it's an old smell. It used to be a candle. All I gotta do is find the thing I'm looking for. Oh, mercy. Here it is. Whew. Okay. And I'll stir it in together. So three tablespoons. And that gives it a pretty good smell. So that's... I like for my scented candles, I don't like to be tickled. I like to be smacked with the smell. I like it to really get you. And you, it's saponified, so you don't need the gloves on and I'm trying to hurry oh that smells wonderful um, the Christmas smell is a traditional bayberry smell in my opinion and when this bar cools it's going to be quite a bit whiter it dries whiter so now I'm thinking I don't need this sweater on I'm getting hot hot so you really need to make sure that it's incorporated. I'll bring you back. Now guess what I'm doing while I'm working. Can you hear that voice? That is Katie Carson, the Duchess of Suds, Royalty Soaps. She is making a sushi soap today. And if you did not see her secret soap series of 2019, you really ought to get right on that. <laughs> they do such wonderful editing and entertaining. I myself, though, am just hoping that you can learn something from my knowledge and my alleged experience, so. So we've got it. I'm pretty sure it's pretty incorporated in here. Kind of checking it out. So the next step is put it in the mold. And then I am going to put on some glitter, which you won't be able to see very well, but it gives it the snow look. Gives it the snow look. Now, Katie Carson does cold process soap making, and I do hot process, so it's a lot different. I thought I'd see what the temperature is just for fun. So we're down to probably 140, and hot process soap is rather gloppy. And I go for the, that's what, I go for the, I go for completion. That's what I'm going for, complete. So you can rub that so bar, bar in your hands or on your washcloth and get clean with it. This is a superior product. This recipe is amazing and it's wonderful for your skin. That's what I had a friend who said, this is the time of year when you have to slather yourself in lotion. That's my special friend from this able veteran, Krista, who always carries a ruck. So this able, able veteran in Southern Illinois is an amazing uh, charity. What they do, they provide service dogs for veterans at no charge. Totally awesome, but we'll talk about that another time. Anyways, if you, I'm gonna give Krista a sample, but if you use my soap, you don't need lotion as much. But I'm not making, that's my opinion, I'm not making any claims except that soap cleans. Soap cleans. All right. So 
we're just going to fill up the mold. And it's not very entertaining. Okay, we're getting to the exciting part. I've got it mostly in the mold. I'm going to have to tap it down. Put some glitter on it. for your protection. Oh Lord. For our protection. Oh, I love the glitter. And I heard a funny one. Instead of ADD, I have AD O shiny. O S. A D O S. Funny. Funny, funny, funny. like play-doh oh and i'm getting glitter on my hands i'm sure oh fun glitter on the phone camera 